Good afternoon, everyone. Um, thank you very much for attending this um, very unusual method of presentation, but circumstances dictate this is this is what we what we have to do. We're here to um, to present Tony Lawrence with his LIT Lifetime Achievement Award, um, which is well deserved and will be presented by Sally Story, who was the recipient last year. So that's really fantastic. So. Um, on behalf of uh, the company, welcome to everyone, and I'd like to pass across to Astrid from the MIT just to give a little bit of background to the award. Yes, good afternoon. So I'm delighted to be virtually here and there in spirit. Um, so the LEED Award Design, um, oh, the LEED uh, Lighting Design Award was created um, six years ago. and. Three years ago, the a new prize, which is the, spot, the Lifetime Achievement Award, was actually created to honor individuals who had a major contribution to the lighting industry. Um, we received nomination from the jury members, and Tony Lawrence was nominated. Um, so after looking at his profile, his contribution to the industry, and his 50 years, um, at Concord Lighting. Um, I'm really delighted today to honour um, Tony Lawrence for his contribution and his innovation and um, everything he has brought to the industry for the past yeah, 50 years and over. So, congratulations. Thank you, Astrid. So we'll um, pass across to Chris. Um, so Chris, would you like to say a few words, please? Yes, yeah, so I'll just um, give a little brief, uh, brief uh, history of Tony. So Tony joined the company over 50 years ago. Uh, I think he joined, you'll have to correct me if I get this wrong, Tony, but you joined Rotorflex uh, in City Road in London. So uh, Tony's been with the company, I guess, now 53 years. And, and joined as a hippie in 1969. Yeah. For me, for me, Tony, for me, Tony has what I call eternal status. If, if you talk to anybody, because he's been at Concord since Concord started, he's been there and he always will be there. Um, and even if he does actually eventually retire, uh, his legacy of lighting product will be left behind as well. So he is an eternal feature within the Concord Lighting. He, he is and remains a, a, a creative force within the business uh, and he's been an inspiration to those around him and he slowly passes that ability on to those and I said to those who are worthy of it. Yeah, so if people listen and understand, yeah, then Tony will, will, um, will share knowledge with them and they will understand the concepts that, that he holds dear to his heart. He's a quiet force um, and he has a, an intricate knowledge of, of lighting and lighting technology. He has an eye for detail uh, and attention to detail and his adaption of technology with creative flair um, has resulted in a quality of product um, that has led us to awards and led to, to great uh, achievements. But I know what's important to Tony is not just the quality of the product, it's actually the quality of the light. Yeah, so that's been one of the key things that, 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 that Tony always says. And um, there's, a, there's a quote I found that says, creativity is seeing what others see, but thinking what no one else has ever thought. Yeah? And I think that that sort of epitomises some of the concepts that Tony's actually taken in terms of taking a light source and turning it into something that is actually very clever. His contribution to product design and the subsequent sales of those products uh, has kept New Haven as a centre of excellence in uh, retail, museum and display. Um, his lights designed, his, 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 his design sort of lights, lots of um, the, uh, the museums and galleries around around Europe and the UK. So um, the ones that I've been to, the Ashmolean, um, uh, National Art Museum, Design Museum and Tissot Museum. And I think it's, uh, I think Tony makes the reference, you know, when he, I always point out, yeah, that was that was made in New Haven. Yeah, and I like, think just sort of like give you a blank stare. So <laughs> Tony, can say, I designed that. In New Haven, okay? and I still give you a blank stare. <laughs> um, I think his expertise um, and contribution has been recognised in the numerous awards that we've had for design through the years, um, as as well as one one of the things I know is particularly proud of is the Queen's Award for Industry. So 
So I think with all the awards and the designs for the designs that we've done, I think it's very fitting that at this point in time, Tony receives a Lifetime Achievement Award for his contribution uh, to lighting and recognising that uh, on behalf of the lighting industry and the business generally. So thank you very much, Tony, uh, and very well done. Maybe a few words, but that I'm going the same direction. Uh, I believe, and that's what I saw in the year, year and a half that I've been working with Tony. He has really the, the rare ability to understand the very large scope of items to be taken into account for developing a new product family. I mean, he knows the applications, he likes bit of shaping, and I, we didn't align with Chris before the call, but he loves beam quality. So it really goes into the, the effect and the quality and the result of what he wants. But he's also having other knowledges like electronics and component integration, mechanical architecture, but also aesthetical design. Uh, he also knows about standardization, modularity, and getting more and more important now, he knows how to design an architecture that gives flexibility, ease of maintenance, and answers perfectly to the sustainability challenge that we're facing now, that we're probably not the same in the past, but it is now very important, which means that he's been evolving with the time, always been a little bit ahead, uh, ahead of the time. So logically, when we've decided to renew our famous museum and gallery range, that's to him that we have that. Uh, I cannot discard it too much, but having seen the outcome, I think he has put into this project his lifetime lighting knowledge plus a large dose of personal creativity. And he has created a new reference in Concord product history. But you will see that when we launch the family. He's also a model for us all in development, always trying to find the next step, thinking out of the box and designing things in a stable, drawing on paper, uh, all his ideas and showing, explaining and having millions of ideas. But he's also helping others. So, Tony, on behalf of myself and Andy, the company, thank you very much for all you have brought. And really congratulations for the Square Deserve a Lighting Lifetime Achievement Award. Well done. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Astrid. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Christian. Um, if we move to the, the, the presentation. We're here at the historic home of Concord Lighting in New Haven to celebrate the award of a Lifetime Achievement Award for product design to our good friend Tony Lawrence. And we're happy to welcome Sally Storey, last year's recipient of a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Lit Awards. And uh, Sally, if you can do the honours for us. Well, it's a privilege to be able to give the award to Tony Lawrence. I can't tell you what it meant to me last year. And to know that how much the industry believes in you, and I think that in itself is really worth another clap. So Tony, we've, uh, we're looking back over 50 plus years. 53, yeah. 53 years, Indeed. absolutely amazing. My first Concord catalogue I remember having was about 1974. Oh, way on. So, you're a boy. No. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and the Rosaflex so, one, wasn't it? It was one, yes, it was. We printed yeah. prices in £1.99 and things like that. And Great stuff. Yeah. I was working in a contracts department at the time. Yes. So, how does it feel now with, the, with this in front of you? Oh, well. Wow. I didn't think I even lived this long, to be honest. No way was I going to be here 53 years later. I would have retired at 65 for some, for some strange reason. But of course, I, I love to keep going. I love what I do, of course. So, just to wrap up this conversation, tell us how it feels like to, be, to take that one home. <sighs> I wonder where to put it now. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. It's obviously, I wonder how to light it. That's another thing. There's well, none of us have got the answer to that. No. <laughs> I could put it outside the front door or something with a light shining, isn't it? Well, the neighbours can see what I've done, of course. <laughs> well, we'll pass that one back to the judging panel, shall we? Thank you very much.
are most honoured to receive this award in recognition and celebration of the many projects I've worked on with with Concord O, which is seen to be a, a ludicrous amount of time in the past, and and the, the project is still moving on, and I'm still here, and I'm still alive and kicking.